Okay, um, hello everyone. All right, so we're talking about data types and we're talking about numbers. Now, we just finished um, talking about all the, the the different types of integers, okay? And we mentioned that they are broken down or categorized into types because of their ranges. So we have four types of integers and each of them are basically categorized into their groups because of their ranges. All right, so we're still talking about data types and still talking about numbers. Now let's move on to what you already know as decimals, okay? Now we have to also have a way to represent decimals, so you know, numbers with, let's say, a period in there, so 2.5 or 8.6 or 27.5. We have to have a data type to represent those, okay? Now those numbers, those kinds of numbers are, are called floating point numbers. That's the term to refer to basically what you what you already know as decimals. And the same way integers are broken down into four types, floating point numbers, okay, which are also decimals, are broken down into two types, okay, and they're called floats or doubles. Uh, sorry, not all doubles. Floats and doubles, okay. In this video, I'm going to talk about doubles, okay. All right, so so it's it's the same thing. If you wanted to declare uh, a number or, or a number of data type double, you just start with a keyword double. Okay, and you give it a name. Okay, so I'm just going to call this my first double, and I'm going to uh, well basically this this is just declaring it. Okay, so I'm telling the computer to reserve a space uh, in its memory. Call that name. Call that var or call that space my first double, and only uh, and only allow doubles to be stored in there. Okay, so now I can go ahead and initialize my first double with a with a floating point number. Okay, basically a decimal. I can say thirty four point five, right? And then I can just say system dot uh, before that. I'll, um, before that, let's just talk about the range. I I had to I had to mention that. All right, so because with with all the with all the ones I mentioned there there uh, I mentioned the float. Uh, sorry, the range. All right, so let's talk about the range. The range of a double, okay, is it's also it's pretty big. It's it can be pretty big and pretty um, small. And so it's plus or minus. I'm going to write it this way: plus or minus. I'm going to write it this way. So it's plus or minus 1.7, okay, times. Um, I'm just, I'm going to use the x to represent the times, okay. So 1.7 times 10 to the to the power negative. 308 okay all the way to plus or minus 1.7 times 10 to the power 308 okay so I'm just I can't there's no way for me to just there's no sorry about that there's no way for me to use um, and the exponent to represent this here so so I'm just saying to the power so you can see what, what it is. Okay, so this is the range basically plus or minus 1.7 times 10 to the power negative 308 all the way to plus or minus 1.7 times 10 to the power 308. So it's you can tell it can get it can really get big and it can really get small at the same time. And so I've defined or declared a variable to hold doubles. I've initialized it over here with a value 34.5 and I can just use it in my my program in this case I am pr just printing it out and so I'm printing out my first double or I can even just say that I'll create a string and say I just created my first double and its value is actually I'll say my I just I just created Sorry, my first double called my first double. And its value is, I'm going to now concatenate its value to the string. I'm concatenating the value to a string, okay? All right, so compile this, and we can see it compiled comp um, well. And when I run this, it says, I just, I'm, I'm sorry about my phone vibrating, sorry about that. It says I just created my first double called my first double and its value is 34.5. So we can see that it works. All right, so we need to have data types to represent all kinds of numbers. We've talked about integers, all the various types of integers. Now we're talking about decimals. And decimals are broken down into floats and doubles. Doubles basically are variables that store floating point numbers in the range of this 
basically this range. We've seen an example here of how to declare a double. To start with the keyword double. We've seen how to initialize a, uh, a double. It's basically just like the initializing, initializing regular variables. We'll talk more about initializing variables and declaring variables. And we've used the value in, a, in for example, a system that had a println statement. All right, so that's it for doubles. In the next video, I'll talk about floating point. Uh, sorry, I'll talk about uh, floats. The, okay, the next floating point number, floats. All the way, all the way, it has the it has the name as you know floating. You know, actually, all the all the decimals are called floating point numbers. Okay, all the numbers with the periods in them, so thirty four point five. They are all called floating point numbers. But then there are two categories: doubles and floats. All of floats has a has a name in the in the in the term floating point numbers. Anyway, I don't want to confuse you. So I'll talk more about floats in the next video. But this is all about doubles. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.